Parallel lines have so much in common. It's a shame they'll never meet. Hey everybody, welcome to the Math SL Revision course put together by me. So math was one of the more harder subjects for me during the IB, but a lot of my troubles with math subsided once I found these online resources, and I think it could help you as well. So what I've done is I've put together these online resources, and I think the power of them together, it can really, really help you in your revision. So the first thing you're gonna do is topical past paper questions. So when you do past paper questions by topic, you have to understand that, in, especially for section A, 80% of the syllabus hasn't changed in the last 10 years. So the IB has just basically been finding new ways to ask the same questions. And, inev and inevitably, uh, they're gonna run out. So if you do these questions together, you're gonna find patterns within these questions. And this is so true for chapters like statistics and probability, vectors, I think there are like 10 to 12 different types of questions that they ask you for vectors uh, in, in, in algebra, in trig. There are a lot of these patterns that show up in section A. And if you can recognize these patterns while you're doing your exam paper, it's just gonna stick in your head, it's gonna click there. And when you're doing these same type of questions in the exam, you're gonna remember, oh, that's not the way I'm supposed to do it. And this is better than doing one past paper uh, on Monday and then doing another past paper on you know Wednesday. Uh, and in one past paper, all these topics are jumbled up. You're not gonna recognize anything. So do it like this. And you, you can find topical past paper questions online. It's a little hard, but even if you can, just do reg just use normal past papers and just do them by topic. So just do the questions by topic. And I, and I guarantee this is gonna be more efficient than just doing them normally, like 99% of the students do. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is before you attack these topical past paper questions, you want to just revise the whole topic beforehand. But how do you do that? Don't go to your textbook. There are two options I've laid out for you. So the first option is reading notes by a guy called Steve Wench. So this guy posted his notes on IB Survival and it's basically the most comprehensive set of notes that I've ever seen for Math SL. And the best part about this is that instead of reading your textbook with all these fluffy examples, this uh, these notes are very succinct, 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 and there's no extra content that you don't need. And it basically, it, it goes through the whole syllabus in a syllabus statement kind of way. And that's what a lot of people usually want. And by doing it so comprehensively, you're going through areas of the syllabus, which a lot of people skip. And the best part is that because it's so comprehensive, it covers all the cases of the question that might come in the exam. For example, uh, you know, they might do sigma notation for arithmetic, that's one section. But then the next section is sigma notation for geometric series. And the next question is geometric, is sigma notation for infinite geometric series. So it covers all the possible uh, cases outlined in the syllabus and under those syllabus statements, it kind of explains them with really good examples. So this really helped me when I was doing calculus because I missed a lot of the classes. These notes are amazing. Okay, and the second option is IB Math SL videos by a guy from PEI Canada called Math SL1. I'm sure everyone who's watching this video knows this, but they're basically these topical review videos and they cover all the general main aspects of the topic. Uh, so this is way more engaging than just reading notes, obviously. Uh, but the thing is that it's not covering every single aspect of the syllabus, but it's really good. And he also gives you printout notes that you can follow along with the paper. And I use his videos a lot for my, uh, when I was doing my revision. I remember, uh, you know, I woke up at 4 a.m. I One day before my math exam, I didn't do any questions. What I did is I woke up early and I just started reviewing his videos. And I just remember sitting there and I was in the toilet <laughs> and I was just sitting there viewing his videos. It was so calm. It was so easy to go along. I mean, it was a beautiful moment not to mention a very helpful moment. So basically, these are the two options you can do to revise uh, the topic before you start your exam, before you start doing the topical questions. Uh, this is mainly good for comprehensive, uh, you know, reading. And it isn't, it doesn't really take that long, a fraction of the time you do by reading your the topic from your textbook. And this is just a really nice way to go cover all the main aspects of the, of the topic. Ideally, you could do both, but based on how much time you have, uh, pick one. And now, obviously the last thing is that when you're doing your topical past paper questions, there's gonna be times where you're just getting stuck, no matter how much you try. So instead of going to your textbook, rereading the, the content or going to the notes, what I'd recommend you to do if you wanna reteach your content properly to yourself is go to this website called ivmathsresources.com and uh, they basically 
index all the relevant YouTube videos for the math SL exam. And the best part is they did this from two channels, one from Patrick JMT, which is the king. And I'm not kidding, he's the king of math videos on YouTube and his queen exam solutions. I don't know if they know each other, uh, most likely not. But these two people are really, really good videos for introducing the topics and learning the content. I basically self-studied all of calculus from Patrick JMT uh, and a lot of statistics and probability from exam solutions. So the best part is that it's all indexed categorically. So you could do a YouTube search of, let's say, how to find, how to integrate this, is this, and a Patrick JMT video could come up. But the thing is, is you have to understand is that Patrick JMT and Exam Solutions, they're not making videos specifically for the IB syllabus. So really, they have so much content, right? So much content. And then the IB portion of their content is just this much. So it's a small subset. So if you're, if you just search on YouTube, you could be in danger of learning content that you don't actually need because, you know, even in integration, there's just so much. There's college level integration. Uh, and if you start viewing those videos, you're just going to be wasting time. But the nice thing about this website is that it indexes all the videos that only have to do with the IB syllabus. And the cool thing is they also have HL and MS uh, videos indexed accordingly. So these two guys are amazing. Go to IB Maths Resources. So yeah, this wasn't a long video. As you can tell, I'm just leveraging the power of other online sources, but I really hope this helped you. First thing you do is you go to the topical past paper questions, then you revise the topic before you attempt them. And anytime you do, don't go to your textbook. Go to these two YouTubers from this website, and I guarantee that you guys will have a successful revision. So these are my three tips for revising for the Math Excel exam. Hopefully it helped. Uh, if you have any video suggestions, let me know below. If I if I did a terrible job in this video, let me know below. If I did a good job, let me know. I really like. I really appreciate your comments. Uh, so yeah, hopefully it all goes well, and see you guys next time.